Hey everyone, um, it's time for another video. Today we're going to go over um, the usual Bitcoin and Ethereum and a few alts that I'm focusing on that's going to be Sol, Matic. I've been trading these stupid meme coins, Wojak and um, Peppy. And not much Peppy, but Wojak has had, even though it's very liquid, uh, it's been following TA perfectly. Um, you know, I gave some calls to the Discord and, you know, although some didn't play out, but uh, if you have been following what I've been saying in the Discord and the in the small like you know educational tips and that pop quiz that we took a look, um, it's been following that exactly. So that's all you need to take a look for. But without further ado, let's take a look uh, at Bitcoin first. So um, Bitcoin, I mentioned that twenty seven eight is the first obstacle that we need to pass. Um, if we take a look here, let me make it actually a little bit higher on the time frame. So 27.8 now becomes a critical level, okay? We've had this uh, previously at as resistance, and then we flipped it to support, right? We broke down, turned it to resistance here again, broke out, turned it to support, flipped it to support, and then we lost it, and now we've turned it to resistance again, okay? So this is a level that needs to be flipped on the four hour for us to continue going higher, right? Now, if I take a look at a... Um, lower time frame here. I did mention in the Discord that we will have um, a sweep between 27.8 to 28k before we go further down. And lo and behold, we had a swing failure of previous highs or pre uh, local highs here um, on, on the lower time frame. We took it, closed below. That was your trigger to short. Um, you know, I've shared this multiple times in the Discord, but you would have shorted after we closed below with your stop above the wick. You want to give yourself a little bit room. You're not risking too much here, and you're going to be targeting 26k. Now, why do I say 26k? I'm going to go here. Actually, we'll go on the lower um, time frame here as well. Um, there is a bear flag here, right? So this bear flag is giving us targets of that 26K, right? We've actually, there we go. There's a target. We've broken down from it currently, right? So let's look for that bearish retest. We go uh, retest, reject, close below. You'll probably go ahead and mark it short with your stop above here. And here is around 27,750. Now, this is going to be a risky short because tomorrow is, well, depending on your time zone, uh, is going to be FOMC. Currently, FOMC, or not FOMC, um, CPI. CPI report currently comes out in four hours from, from me. It's 1.15 a.m. And, you know, with CPI and FOMC comes volatility. So expect volatility tomorrow. The past couple of FOMCs and CPIs have been like nothing burgers. So there's no um, real chance that we could have you know a spike up. But what I think happens is going to be this, right? On a higher time frame, we are currently uh, holding on to support, which is mid range, from what I currently have. And what I would like to see is. If there is a nothing burger news again, we go up and reject from 28.2 to 28.500 ish. This is where I'm tr uh, setting myself up for a short. I hope to go up here, reject from this resistance trend line that we've been rejecting from um, recently until that is flipped. Basically, 28.5 needs to be flipped to support again. Then I will cut my short, but I'm going to attempt a short there and then aim for lowers, okay? If we don't get that, then my, my, my trigger for a long would be sweep up these lows here, right? This is your range low. So take out all this liquidity down here, reclaim the swing low level and close above. 
that that's your market long opportunity with your stop loss below the wick that was created. This is not a limit order play. This is a confirmation play. So you have to set alerts for yourself near this range low level around 26,500 ish, probably put it at 26,700 just so you can give yourself some time to get back on the charts or your exchange to, you know, monitor the plate. As soon as that level approaches, you're going to be watching. Okay. Now, if you want to go on a lower time frame, be careful. You know, as I mentioned, the lower the time frame, the weaker the data. So the four hour for me is what I'm going to be looking at. And you want, you know, wick down, take this liquidity down here. There's a lot of stops currently right here from people longing here or people that were long from here. Um, or even people that are long here, they're placing their stops below range low. So when we go down, take that liquidity, we're stop hunting all those people, and then we're going higher, right? And then you're going to play the range again. You're going to play the range until broken. We've had around one, two, three touches of range lows. The more touches of um, a support is going to get weaker. This would be the fourth touch, but a we need that liquidity to be swept before we can go higher. And same with here. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly more um, touches of this horrors or these uh, this trend line here. So we're looking for a flip, something like that to go higher, and then I will cut my short. If that happens, if we flip twenty eight point four to twenty eight point five again to support, I'll cut my short and I'll look for this here one sec what time frame I'm looking for this order block here okay so 29.4 to uh, 29.6 that's where I will look to short next now um, Historically, as I mentioned previously in my videos, along with the Discord, May is a bearish month, okay? Um, and thereafter, summer has been choppy, okay? So I expect us to stay within a range anywhere from 22 to about 30K during the summer up until August, September. So it's going to be choppy. A lot of people will lose their portfolio balances trying to trade the chop. This is a time for accumulation if we go lower, all right? So what I currently have planned for lower is are these levels here. So we've been holding this uptrend at this moment. Now, this weekly close is important, okay? If we close below, are we going to be setting a deviation, right? We, we came up, closed, deviation. Are we going to close like this and then dump? Because we want this, I mean, this close looks terrible at the moment. So keep an eye on the weekly close. Lose the trend. Let's use this. Lose the trend turn it to resistance we're going further down the levels that i'm looking at on the weekly are going to be 24 300 ish 21 800 ish and 18.3k um, those are the levels that i'm setting buy orders for and i'm forgetting about them okay Th these are not leverage uh, plays these are spot plays so i'm i'm bidding here here and here and i'm going to be holding that i actually am i did buy around 15 16k so i'm, I'm well um, positioned, but I'm going to add to my long-term buys at these levels. We do not want to lose 27,600 on the weekly. Um, otherwise, we have confirmed the deviation, right? So those are the levels that I'm looking at on the weekly. Uh, are we going to, you know, continue to hold this uptrend? We've made it making higher highs, higher lows. But as soon as that market structure breaks and we we make the first lower low. Look for the lower high to short and then, you know, place your stops accordingly um, to your risk management. And we're looking at those levels below. Now, saying that um, the dollar does look bullish, I've been saying this in my previous videos. I've said it a while ago now. You know, we have an inverted hammer that was made 
um, three weeks ago, and we've held support. Right, we even took uh, the sweep of the lows here, double bottom, and this looks bullish to me. So I'm looking for 103.7, honestly. And you know, if the dollar is bullish, risk on assets are going to be bearish. So um, crypto stocks, everything is going to go down. Now, I expect this to obviously take some time to play out. This isn't going to happen over a, like you know a week. It could take you know a couple of months to play out. But I'm looking for 103, and then eventually get to 108. Um, so I don't, I don't think that the um, or I think the bottom's in for the crypto market. I don't think we're going below 15K, but we are getting to local top. We have or we are getting close to it. I don't think we go above 35K, honestly, this year. Um, I think 32 to 35K is our max with a wick to 38K. I've explained this previously in my videos. Uh, watch my Bitcoin analysis video. Um, but I do think we hit 103 and 108 eventually. Now with USDT dominance... This 7.35%. Now, for those that don't know what USD dominance is, it's basically people, um, if we go higher up here, right, the higher the percentage, it means more people are stabled up. The lower the percentage, more people are, you know, buying crypto. So this currently is having an SR flip. The first time we actually have broke resistance since March. Okay. And... Um, this is actually going to be a very important close because if we have conf if we close above here, I'm looking for 7.87%, and this is tied perfectly with the uh, analysis that I gave on the dollar, and that would send Bitcoin down to about 26.5, 26k if uh, USD dominance goes here, uh, possibly even lower, but you know I expect rejection because this would be the second touch of that area um, this would be you know 26.5 is where buyers should step in 26 to 26.5 K is where buyers should step in and then we reject a little bit uh, we go back to about you know 27.5 28k we sell and then we go higher 8.35 is what I'm looking at over the next you know three to four months to be reached um, and then you know people are going to start buying crypto again we'll reject here um, we should be around 24 and 22 to 24 K when this level is reached I'm not going to go into deep uh, detailed analysis on USD dominance I give that to my course um, if you guys are interested please DM me but otherwise let's take a look at Ethereum so ETH I've had this trend line drawn um, and we've actually lost it currently. Um, market shorting is going to be risky again with C with CPI tomorrow, but I do have a short from 1888 to 1905 lined up just in case we get that spike. I'm looking for a move up here, you know, fill this imbalance and then further go down. Um, if that doesn't happen, then we have broken down. We even retested this um, trend line. So another setup could be, you know, like this. Now this is going to be very risky. And I'm looking for this daily order block. Well, at least the support to be touched. That's around 1765. That's where I'm going to be longing with my stops below 1706. And I'm looking for a move back up here. I've given the profits in the Discord, but you can take profit wherever you see fit. Um, the other thing that I was looking at, so this four hour bear flag has broken down and we had a bearish retest of it, okay, which was also a supply zone. Now within that four hour, if we go to the, to the hour, there is a low time frame bear flag here. We have broken down as well. That will give us a target around 1746, which would line up perfectly with, it's a little bit lower than my long, but you know I do have DCAs in the zone here, um, close to my long area for ETH. Now, 
If we do go higher, again, I have 1888 um, to 1900. That's my short. I'm looking for something like this. And then further down, if you were watching my videos on supply, you would you would have seen this. Right, we broke down, uh, rejected from it, and then gone down. So I'm looking for something like this to be hit. 1880 is right there. Hopefully we go up here, take out this liquidity, reject from it. This would be the first um, retest of this support that was broken down. So that's why I'm placing my, my, my short there um, with a DCA at 1900. Stops are going to be tied around 1915. Um, I'm risking 1.5% 1 of my portfolio, and then I'm looking for much lower. In all honesty, uh, alts look completely fucked, and you know I do think we're going lower than most people think. Um, so any pumps, in my opinion, even if we get a good CPI print, um, I do not think we go above 30k. I will be shorting 30k if we get it. Now, Seoul. So it looks disgusting. We have broken trend. Okay, we do have a daily order block here. So one of two things can happen. Um, I'm looking for a move up to this order block and further down. Now this is a reach because this is going to require Seoul to go up around six percent. Um, the other short trigger that I'm looking for is this 1980, 87 level has been holding pretty well for now, but I do expect it to break soon. We've had one, well, this doesn't count, but one, two, three, four levels or four touches of the zone. The more we touch support, the more we're going to break down. Um, we've even had a rejection here from the trend line three times so that's why I'm placing my short my short would look something like this so I'm hoping for it to go down there my first TP will come around 19.8 um, the next area for it to hold if we lose 19.87 in terms of resistance that's a market short first area of TP would be here this order block and then lose that level the next area is going to be fifteen dollars Yes, I do think Seoul can reach this area. Um, it's not a matter of um, if, it's a matter of when, okay? So unless $22 is flipped to support, we're going further down, right? So I need this level to be reclaimed, and then we're going higher, but I do expect this to go further down. Um, Matic. Um, longs, actually, for Seoul. I would take a scalp long here at this order block. Tights would or the stop loss would be very tight, but you know, placing a stop loss below this wick makes sense. Uh, the risk to reward is very weak. You'd have to go in with half position sizing, uh, maybe even one third of your normal position sizing, because the stop's pretty wide. So Matic. I posted this on uh, Discord and on Twitter as well. We had a cup and handle. Uh, this is inverted, by the way. We actually did break out. A, a very key level for us to um, lose was this 95.3. And watch, it was holding it was holding a support. This is inverted again. And then we broke down. My first TP did hit at 86.9. And Let's go back to regular chart. So I'm looking at one of two things here, okay? If we do pump, which I don't think this has the juice to go back up here, but I'm looking to short this box here, which is going to be a retest of the daily level that we lost. So I'm gonna front run it. 
I'm going to enter around 93.7 and I'm going to DC at 95.3 with a pretty wide stop around 102. I'm going to be targeting seven, uh, 73 cents. Uh, TP1 will come there, TP2 there, and that's where I'm going. Otherwise, your short trigger would be if we lose this level, turn to resistance, you would mark it short with your stop around uh, 90 cents. TP1 would come around this demand zone here at 81.5. TP2 would be 73 cents. Those are your short triggers. Um, I'm not looking to long this shitcoin. I don't. I could give a rat's ass about it. But if you wanted to long, your long would come here. And you're not going to get that TP. You'll probably get maybe to 88 cents. So the risk to reward is not there. Now again, um, I mentioned this. Wojak has been easy to play on the lower time frames. I've shared this multiple times. I'm going to remove this. So, if you you know have read what I've been saying in the Discord and in the education that I've shared, right? This order block, you would have you would have caught this. It filled once, twice, three, four times. It's held support one, two, three, four times. It's getting weaker and weaker every single time. Now for shorting, shorting has been pretty easy on this coin, right? Um. So we swing failure here. You caught the short. There's a demand zone here. You caught the long. We we swing failure here again. Caught the short. Came back down. Filled the order block. Went up. Okay. Now this has not been taken out yet, but on lower time frames, there was here. We swing failured it. Came back down. Fill the OB again, and then we we've turned this into resistance. Now I was streaming in one of the servers, and I told them like. This is going to turn into a deviation. We clear the liquidity, close below, turn this into resistance, and we did. Now, now this this coin is becoming tricky to trade. It was easy, right? So now you're looking for break of trend here and short stop loss above here probably. Um, now notice. That this coin moves very fast in a liquid, so the chance of getting stopped on these coins are very high. You have to go in with reduced position sizing. All right. Um, I know most of you high leverage degens um, can't control your urges, uh, but please do so here. So that goes there. I wouldn't long this OB again. We've had four touches. It's going to get weaker. Um, I do think that this runs the lows eventually. If it runs the lows, that's where you'll look to long. But this coin, if we do get pumps, it's meant for shorting. Okay. If we do get here to if we get to this order block here, I'd attempt to scalp short. So something like now stop placement on this coin is impossible, okay? Because it, it, it has huge wicks. But I probably... Now, the, the profit level here doesn't matter. You can take profits at areas of support if you're shorting. But that's where I'd be looking to possibly scalp short. So, 33.3. I'm not going to say all those zeros. Your DCA would come at 35.09. Your stop loss is going to be 36.3. Now, this is going to be a high risk short and most likely will be invalidated at some point, but I'm not going to update it uh, on Twitter or on Discords. Now, this could also just break out. So that's why risking this is going to be um, impossible. This could break out and 
if it runs to these highs here, that's where you will look to short 48 cents. So I will call a short if I see it. I'm not going to do anything in the meanwhile because these things can pump hard, right? There's a clear head and shoulders here actually. Um, did it reach the target? No. Yeah, this is going to negative zero. Last but not least, frog coin. It broke trend line, and I, and I shared this in the stream that I was in. It broke it, rejected it, right? There was your trigger to short with your stop above here, as I mentioned, and we're going further down. Now you can draw probably a new trend line. There we go. Same thing here, right? Lose trend line, reject, you'll short. Currently, this is your resistance on the 15 minute. You can long if this flips to range highs, which is here. And here's a supply zone, right? Rejected, rejected. It's been easy. These coins have been easy to trade. I just don't trade them because they're liquid. But if this does pump, which it might. Areas for shorting. Twenty five and twenty six. These will be scalps, okay? So like you're gonna take profit on like a one percent move. If you're not, you're stupid. Now, if I take a look at it this way, this could come and retest this demand zone here, this order block. down there, which has been holding as support. So it was previously um, all time high before we broke out. It flipped it to support. We deviated, right? We've been holding it as support. So we've had one, two, three, almost four touches. Um, this is a retest of this breakout point. So that could also hold. It's going to be a very tough trade but possibly something like see it's a very wide stop and you'll target there I'm not taking this I'm just showing you the ideas Um, but yeah, so that's the, the, the coins that I'm currently looking at. Be careful with CPI tomorrow. It's in four and a half hours. Actually, three and, three hours and 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's the analysis. Thanks, everyone. We'll catch you guys later.